and it honestly just like has made me so happy it's my podcast is literally one of my favorite things in the entire world but the irony of that is I've now missed three weeks and I am very sorry about it I want to talk about some things I've learned about myself throughout this process Speaking of college, I know a lot of you are wondering where I'm committing. Okay, now we're going to go down memory lane a little bit and recap some of my favorite moments just literally off the top of my head. Loyla and I have done a lot of crazy things our senior year of high school, so I think we should just do a little recap. But I asked you guys on there some questions for me to film this recap episode on February 18th. It's March now, but you know, we're doing it. Why have you had a Molly solo? How did you start your podcast? Looking to start one, but I don't know what to do. Any advice to dancers who who started late and want to be known in the convention world? Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to episode 26 of Stop Talking Kens. I have not done this intro in a very long time and I'm going to start off with a very funny story for you guys. So as you know, I filmed 25 amazing episodes that have gone like way better than I ever could have expected. And when we hit 25, my mom and I were like, let's film like a 25 episode recap just to be proud of everything we've done. And the fact that we've filmed for consecutive 25 weeks and never missed a week. But the irony of that is I've now missed three weeks and <laughs> I am very sorry about it. But here we are with the 25 episode recap. And I just want to start off by saying I'm so grateful for every single one of you guys who have watched every single week. So many people have messaged me or like come up to me at conventions being like, I watch your podcast every single Friday morning. And that is just like way more than I ever could have expected like to come out of this because I think when we started this, it was just like something fun for me to do a creative outlook for me because I'm always talking legitimately it was like something on my bucket list that I've always wanted to do and the fact that I'm going to college next year and I don't know where I'm gonna end up it's just like something we needed to do and it honestly just like has made me so happy it's my podcast is literally one of my favorite things in the entire world And I haven't done it for three weeks and I missed it so much. But don't worry, guys, we're back and I will be doing another one of these episodes in for 50 for episode 50, 25 more. So stay tuned for that. But I just want to first off say I'm so grateful for all of you guys. I also want to thank every single person who has came on because I would not have a show or anything without every single one of you. A lot of these friendships I've made in the mini room at convention and I've established these friendships so young and I just like want to put it out there like make these friendships because your convention friendships literally last a lifetime like I've known Gianna since I was a mini and now we're both seniors so I just want to thank every single person who has come on the show because nothing would have been possible without all of you guys Now I want to talk about some things I've learned about myself throughout this process. I guess I've always known I'm a talker. I think everyone knows that about me. But I've learned a lot of how to listen and listen to another person while then responding, I guess. It was like it started. I think you guys can tell like the evolution of the episodes. Like I feel like with the twins, it was more just like because they were my very first guests. The twins was very like okay, here's a question I'm going to ask them. Here's another question I want to ask them. But I think it's turned into more of like a conversation because I've learned how to listen and then ask a question that relates to what they were saying, I guess. So it's taught me a skill in that of like not just being given what to say, given a script per se, but rather letting the conversation flow naturally. And it's just like taught me that, which has helped me in my college interviews because for the dance major you're given questions and you have to answer them and I feel like I've learned like 
this is not what they want to hear me say rather like this is what I genuinely feel and this is what I genuinely am replying to this person who's asking me so I just feel like it's a great skill I've like acquired throughout this process and I'm so grateful for that too speaking of college I know a lot of you are wondering where I'm committing as am I (laughs) but I have about 80 percent of my college like results back I guess my college decisions and I'm still waiting on a couple more colleges so, for. So once I get those back, I will definitely do a video and tell you guys everything. I know people requested to me do like a college reaction video of opening all my colleges. Unfortunately, I've not been filming myself because it's more of just like, oh, this one came. Oh, let me open it. It's not like, let me get ready, film myself like, you know, you know, the whole thing. It's been a very fast process, I would say, and the waiting has definitely been the worst part. But once I'm committed somewhere, I will tell you guys and I will tell you guys about my whole college journey throughout this year, where I applied, what I got into, all that fun stuff. I will tell you guys. So stay tuned for that. Okay, now we're going to go down memory lane a little bit and recap some of my favorite moments just literally off the top of my head that I've had from some of the episodes and something that comes to mind very quickly is how funny Reagan's episode was. I don't know if it was because it was so recent, but that episode was so funny and so many people messaged me being like, Reagan is hilarious and it is true. She is hilarious. Another standout for me is obviously Molly's episode because I just literally love her with my entire heart and just like getting to film with her and like talk to her for an hour was the best time ever and we should do it all the time for real but I obviously love Loyla because she is my best friend in the entire world and she's so weird I feel like we should do an updated episode because she needs she I don't think she was quite comfortable when she was sitting there but my mom can agree with me Loyla is so weird and like she could tell you guys the most crazy stories uh, oh my god I just had a good idea okay before Loyla and I have done a lot of crazy things our senior year of high school, so I think we should just do a little recap once we're graduated so no one from our school can watch it and, like, know what we did because we have a lot of, like, tips and tricks for you guys because we're really crazy. We're really crazy, but yeah. I also really loved Emma's episode because I've always been close with her since I was a mini in the mini room, but just, like, hearing about her life and, like, hearing about how well she's managing both school and dance like with her school being a very prestigious hard school and then her dance also danceology is a great studio where you get a lot of great training and she's just balancing that really well it was honestly inspiring for me even though I'm a senior I feel like I could do better at balancing like the two so that definitely like motivated me oh that's like another thing like sitting here listening to people talk have has motivated me because like all these people who come on are so talented and so amazing in many different reasons and it's like taught me something that like I need to like bring into my everyday life I guess along with that Izzy Howard she lives by herself basically with a new person living with her every single week and I like get my mom with here with me all the time and that's just like so amazing because she balances again everything so well with going to ballet going doing her school and she's very self-accountable because she doesn't always have that person there to make sure she's doing everything that she needs to do which is very inspiring to me because I don't know if I would get up and go to school every day if my mom didn't make me go and if I didn't have to drive the twins there as well okay I asked you guys some questions oh and if you didn't know I have an Instagram for stop talking Ken so go follow it it's stop talking Ken's But I asked you guys on there some questions for me to film this recap episode on February 18th. It's March now, but, you know, we're doing it. Okay, so I'm going to answer some of these questions. On a scale from 1 to 10, how soft is your merch? Literally a 10. You guys, this thing is so soft and it's so cute. I hope one day to sell them. Actually, in my econ class, we had a project where it was like you had to create a product and then sell it I guess and I did my merch because I didn't have to create it it was basically already created and it was fun to just like pretend sell it what does your schedule look like as a p21 dancer does it change before comp 
um my schedule is a p21 dancer i'm at the studio monday tuesday wednesday thursday we do not have class on friday like the older kids don't but we do have rehearsals before competition so i guess that's what changes is like weekend rehearsals we do have weekend rehearsals like not before competition but that's more towards the beginning of the season when we're making our groups learning them all that so for instance this coming weekend is the weekend before competition so we're gonna be at the studio thursday friday saturday sunday wait no friday saturday sunday so we're gonna be there all week monday tuesday wednesday thursday are our normal classes that we always have and then friday saturday sunday we're gonna be there running our groups doing all that stuff this weekend so that's what changes like before a competition talk about the behind the scenes who does the work camera work and video editing so it's literally all my mom she's behind the camera every single episode with her headphones on pretending she can't hear me sometimes and then she also edits my videos thank god because I literally can't so oh my like vlogs that you guys see sometimes I edit those but the podcast episodes my mom edits them so none of this would have been possible without her too just putting that out there Okay, a lot of these are like, what colleges did you get into? Da, 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 but just wait. Why have you had a Molly solo? Okay, so season two, my first ever year, Molly started a jazz solo with me, but then like I got a new solo, so then we just like never finished it, and we just like started cleaning my other solo. But maybe my final ever solo I do will be a jazz Molly solo at Project 21. Just you guys have to wait and see. What episode, whose episode took the longest to film? I want to say it's Molly's, right? Or Selena. It was like, oh, oh, Molly. Because that episode, we had like multiple camera angles going and the batteries kept dying. Like we'd film for like an hour and then the batteries would die. So we had to get new batteries, get new SD cards. We kept running out of space because we were filming for so long. And then I feel like we did a lot of like the question, the viewer questions, because obviously a lot of people have a lot of questions for her. So we had a lot of questions for her. We just like kept asking it and it was really fun. But yeah, that episode was the longest to film, I think. How has going back to P21 changed you as a dancer? I think it has, before I went back, I don't think I was as motivated into dance, obviously, just like things happen, life happens, you're not always going to be motivated to dance, I guess, like you go in and out of like ruts and doing it since I was a mini, like, but I think when I got back, like Molly obviously like pushed me really hard and like got me back to where I want to be and got me to loving it again. So I just feel like right now, like I'm at my best that I have been in like six years. So like, that's good. What do you want to do after high school? So I'm going to hopefully, no, I will. I'll go to a four year university and major in major in dance so I guess if I go to a college that's very close to here then this podcast will stay because I'll be so close to here but if I'm very far then who knows we can change it to stop talking twins and then the twins can do it (laughs) when did you join p21 so I joined when I was like 10 or like 9 um season 2 and it is season 10 right now but I did take a little it is season 9 right now and I wasn't there like consecutively throughout the entire thing I wish I was but I wasn't so how did you start your podcast looking to start one but I don't know what to do okay for us it was like this is my bedroom like legitimately what we're filming in right now is my bedroom so we just took like half of the room I guess it's literally half of the room and made it this and we just got a camera got some mics it's definitely like evolved over the episodes um when we started with the twins I'm pretty sure it was like handheld mics that we just like had at our house and then it evolved to like mics that you don't have to hold that are like sitting on something so I think if you're looking to start one you just need oh Also, I've filmed so many podcast episodes on my phone, on the voice memo app before we even started this. Loyla and I in the car like once a week would set our phones up and just talk. 
like you can literally do that you can set up your phone and talk podcasts technically don't need like a camera in front of you we just do it because we post it on youtube but you don't need a camera so you literally could just take your voice memo app on your phone and film yourself talking i would start there and get the practice hold yourself accountable to like doing it whatever you want to do once a week let's say hold yourself accountable if you can do that if you can get a 40 minute voice recording of yourself then yeah like get a camera invest in a camera invest in bikes and post it anyone can do it it's just like consistency which I'm one to be talking because I literally haven't posted in three weeks but holding yourself accountable and yeah you can do it how long does an episode take to film so I would say whatever you guys see it's like 30 minutes less more than that right okay so if you guys see like a 40 minute episode I would say that took us like an hour to film we cut out about 20 minutes of footage I would say because like not like anyone's saying anything it's like we start talking about things that aren't like relevant to anything or like we have to like stop and think like all that stuff or we just like fully get distracted like with Emma we were like doing ASMR like for like 20 minutes so like obviously we didn't keep all that in but like yeah I'd say it's like roughly around there favorite costume this year break my soul is very cool that costume is amazing I've gotten a lot of compliments on it like at school like people wanting it like where can they get it it is custom made you cannot get it maybe I'll sell mine after so let me know if you guys want it um first you are awesome at this it should be your life thank you maybe one day it will be my life like it's always been my goal in life to be a talk show host so I just feel like this is perfect for me what are your plans during college and after I feel like it's really all just gonna depend on where I go and like location because that obviously changes a lot whether I'm literally basically at home or like across the country or just like in California but further away like I feel like those are like the options right now hopefully um but during college I'm just I plan to major in dance so I'll still be dancing every single day I honestly really don't know what it I literally don't know like what class wait it's like in college you have to take like required courses for your major so I'm gonna have to take those required courses but because I don't know like where I'm going yet I don't know what courses I'm gonna be taking next year I guess because I'm pretty sure it's different for every single college any advice to dancers who who started late and want to be known in the convention world I feel like being known in the convention world is just like it's not a thing that you can like make happen I guess it just like happens from going a lot to conventions and meeting people and making connections throughout your convention like journey like I've got to know a lot of the faculty because the twins and I have been doing this since we were minis and like we've when we were younger we went to a lot more than we do now but like just like establishing those connections and you can establish those relationships at no matter what age you are I feel like going up to a teacher after convention just saying thank you like getting your face out there getting your name out there is gonna help no matter what and making relationships not only with the faculty but with like the kids because a lot of the same kids I guess go to conventions every single weekend like that's where I've met everyone is like through convention because we all go to the same conventions like but I also would say getting known is not like the goal just like it's like something that happens but like it's not like something you should strive for I think you should strive for like growing at convention because there's a lot that can be taken out of convention because you're taking a lot like six classes per day of all different styles with all different amazing teachers so just like gaining everything you possibly can and absorbing all the knowledge should be like the thing you like strive or like gain try to gain from the experience who's your biggest supporter for your podcast definitely my mom my mom wears the stop talking kids hoodie every day of her life so she loves it I think she's the biggest supporter and the biggest hater because she has to be here when I'm filming all these episodes and she has to edit all of them and also the 
I annoy her so bad with these mics. Like, sometimes I'm talking like this. Sometimes I'm talking like this. And it makes her so mad. She's, like, screaming at me behind the camera, even when we have a guest here. And they're just like, oh, God, like, your mom's mad at you. And I'm like, yes, like, she's so mad at me. So I, she's also my biggest supporter, obviously, because she loves it and she loves me. But And she does wear the hoodie legitimately every single day of her life. Like, I'm surprised the twins aren't offended yet. But she wears it every single day. But she also has to do like all the like the not fun stuff for the podcast so like that's like annoying too okay I think that's all of your questions because a lot of them are about college decisions and I promise I will do a video on that but I just want to thank all of you guys again because none of this would have been possible if you guys didn't watch every single Friday and on this video please comment down below like more people you want to see me bring on and then I also want to thank everyone who has came onto my podcast because obviously it would be me talking by myself for 25 weeks if no one came on and that would not have been good. But I am so grateful. And if any of you guys want to be on my podcast, please DM me. I'm always looking for new people and just like new perspectives on the dance world because everyone has something amazing to offer. Whether you think you do or not, you definitely do. So DM me and we will definitely make this happen. But I love you guys so much. I promise to see you guys back with a new episode next week. Love you guys. Bye.